All right, here is Thor Baby, and um, we have my stunt bait on the bike coming. We set this up. Um, Thor's off leash, and th this is a stranger Thor does not know is going to come on the bike here, and um, he's going to go 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 up, and he's interested, and I'm going to re recall him. And Thor does a spin a spin move here. He's big on this spin this spin move there, and he comes back. Um, I've done a lot of obedience work with with him, and I've done the cycling because of the obedience is so good. I can su cycle the dog. I can really control the space, time, and distance, and I can get the reactivity down. I can get I can do a whole lot of work. And I'm gonna walk him up here. And you can see he listens to me and stuff. He's he's in a good mindset here now. Um, he loves me. <laughs> but um I'm really big on on getting control of the dog so that you can control the space time and distance and you can get this stuff done um I'm not big on just having a dog that's out of control um and then trying to do the work with the aggression and stuff like that um I know some people say that they can change the way the dog views things and this and that and um Yes, you absolutely can with a, a, a lot of dogs, but they downplay obedience. And with the obedience, I can I can do a hell of a lot more and faster. And dogs need obedience anyway. Um, uh, I am not one of this belief that that you don't need obedience. And you can just get dogs to act correctly and they're just always going to choose the right thing. Um, a lot of dogs are not going to choose the right thing all by themselves. Um, they're going to need some help. Um, this is definitely a dog that definitely needs some help. So I have control over this dog and I can do these kinds of things now. And remember, this is the dog that came to me with the, mu the muzzle on. Um, this dog had several bad bites. So, um, th and this dog had no obedience. It was with a, tra a trainer for six weeks. Um, a trainer worked with it a little before before that too, um, and the dog was totally out of control. Get these dogs under control first, um, and then you can go out and you can start to do these do these kinds of things. You can start to work work with this dog. This is five a little over five weeks in. So so th th this is not that's something I would like to talk about too. This is not a two a two week magical board and train where you fix these dogs. I see this stuff marketed and stuff. Um, it, it's it's horse shit. You're fixing aggression and all, and all this stuff. Um, um, this is week five. Um, I'm good at this stuff. I can I can do a lot. Okay. Two weeks into this stuff, we we were really just starting to go to work. You know what I mean? Um, don't believe this hype. Don't believe the mar the marketing scams and stuff like that. These these two these two weekers, you know, you know what I mean. This is um this is like five and a half weeks, five weeks in. Um, we're really getting somewhere with this dog, as you can see. Um, it takes time. It takes time to really train a dog, any dog, um, especially a dog like this with bites and stuff like that. So all right over and out he's doing great and i just want to mention in closing here that you know what you see here is five five and a half weeks in you haven't seen a lot um we i did not just bring this dog out with the guy on the bike you know what i mean set this up <clears throat> um right away we've done work with this dog with people in bite suits we've we've done a lot of um scenarios with this dog um this isn't just you know take this dog out and see what he does. <laughs> I've done a lot of work. Um, you know, it, this isn't guesswork here.